To help us to understand the issue of hacking is Assistant Professor Alwyn Tu from the School of Computer Engineering at Nanyang Technological University. So, Professor, thank you very much for coming in today. Uh, we're all talking about hacking in general, but uh, help us understand, are there different types or levels of hacking? Yes, obviously. Uh, I mean, hacking is an activity to subvert the normal functioning of the systems uh, to achieve certain goals that it wasn't designed to. But the level in, in which the subversion happens can, can vary. Uh, for example, the, the most severe one is when the hacker gains access to the administration right to the entire system. Uh, but the less severe one is they, they can subvert the content of the website to display uh, you know, contents that were not intended uh, by the original creator of the site. Okay, so what would be the most common techniques? Because we mentioned cross-site scripting. Uh, could you simplify that for us? Uh, yes, yeah, so crops, uh, sorry, cross-site scripting is one of the techniques, uh, one of the variants of the more general one called the injection attack. So basically, uh, this exploits the fact that uh, certain websites provide services for the user to upload their contents. Mm -hmm. And so a clever hacker can you know, tailor this content in such a way that they can inject malicious code and once upload it to the server and if the server does not uh, check this content for malicious codes, if it simply just displays it, uh, then it could be subverted when the user visits that website. Instead of loading the original content, uh, a content from a different website is displayed so that's one of the uh, uh, possible attacks. So what's the worst kind of damage that a hacker can do? Uh, again, it depends on the kind of malicious contents that gets uploaded. And it depends on a lot of factors like uh, how they actually uh, structure the, the security of the web servers behind the websites. Um, so in most cases, these are simply just redirecting uh, the content of uh, the user's um, uh, the, the site that the user visits to another website. Uh, but sometimes if this content is interfaced with the database, for mm -hmm. example, in you know, some payroll systems or hang banking systems, then uh, it dip again, it depends on the, the, uh, the, uh, the architectures of, of the web server. So, so it, it, it becomes quite, uh, quite a bad yeah. situation when it's a security breach. Yes. Okay. Um, professor, when a website is hacked, how long would it normally take to get everything back to normal again? Uh, so again, it depends on the severity of the hack. In case it's just a sub-page or you know, one of the uh, user's uh, accounts got hacked, and if it's not an admin account that got compromised, then typically it'll take you know, maybe a few hours to a day or so to, uh, to, make sure, uh, to re uh, reactivate the, the, the old content. Uh, but in case the breach compromised the uh, administrator account, and again, it depends on the kind of, so one of the things that uh, as, uh, admin does when a site gets attacked is to, to ascertain the cause of attacks right. and what part of the system that is compromised. Right. And depending on the severity of the attack, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, uh, the downtime could vary. So they just try to rectify the problem depending on how severe it is? Yes, yes it is. All right, so thank you very much, Professor, for no helping problem. us understand all that. And that was Professor Tu on uh, what hacking means and, of course, uh, what we need to do to stay safe.